Well, good afternoon, everyone. I'm going to do a update for all my friends, family, cousins, and so on and so forth. As you can see, I've it's uh, what is it, September 6th, 2017. I have actually finally put in a window over there. It's right on top of a cinder block wall back there, so it's quite thick walls. So you can see this wall is still not done. We're finally almost out of air conditioning season. Uh, oops, got my finger in the way. Sorry, guys. Uh, dishwasher now has been in place. I got more cabinets. Got an electric stove because I picked up a fiance last year on Craigslist for sale. But anyhow, I'm just kidding. Uh, added a wall over here. This used to be my dining room back here in this area slash living room. It is a room for the kids. Sorry that the clothes and stuff's all messy, but we're cram packed in here. But it's a home with the roof over our head. As you can see, we've nothing much done in the bedroom. I mean, it's still nice, da da da, but no big deal. Was only going to give her two hangers, but she took the whole side. So Diana is now officially moved in. So I am still working on more light switches and outlets. And as you can see, how I got light switches with with an outlet right underneath that way you can plug in the vacuums and so forth uh the hallway back here is going to be a mess but we have finally redone my bathroom and it's stuff that people don't see every day down below there all that was jackhammered again so it's all brand new pvc in here for the shower the washer the toilet everything's been redone in pvc going outside which i'll show you all later but I had to redo the floor, pour leveling concrete. As for the back hallway, you can see there, everything's done in shark bites and pecs. I actually poured some leveling concrete there, trying to level off some of the uh, washer and dryer back here. We've actually had to add a sump pump because Mother Nature has been really kind to us. As you can see back there, I've got actually like a concrete little barrier wall forcing the water to go towards the sump pump that doesn't go up and through there but try to seal the corners sorry about the back hallway but it is congested and packed until i buy a new shed or garage you can see back there there's the concrete wall it's like three and a half inches allowing the water to force down to the sump pump area still doing the electrical as you can see we'll go around the other way for the garage view um still working on the ceilings just insulated uh oh sorry i was going to show you all the other work that was done we actually had to jackhammer the floor in here right underneath that vacuum cleaner is a floor drain with a check valve so it forces the water not to come back up but it can only go down so uh as you can still with the water heaters in there it's kind of like a storage room and coat closet so now time for the view for outside gonna head out here uh as we can see, I have now a, I want to say it's 22 by at least 26 or more driveway. I built it higher than the garage because I'm trying to build up the house upwards. I want to pour another three inches. As you can see in the garage, it is quite packed. Uh, Diana and her kids' stuff is here. My stuff's along the sides. All my tools, once I build a garage, this will become a bedroom until I can build upstairs. Uh, I have added onto the concrete patio outside here. It was originally a 12 by 12 over here. Then we added another eight feet and another six feet. So the whole front, I'm actually wanting to turn this into an enclosed patio, four season room. And I want to build off the top a roof but I want it to be actually the roof slash floor of a deck up there I want a deck from this side of the house all the way down that way if I ever build upstairs it will be a nice deck to walk off of there's the two windows I've actually installed this year one for the kitchen one for the bathroom uh, done a lot of landscaping I finally did fill in the dirt along there it used to be a huge ditch down through there and I built it up so it's and then the neighbors put their rock wall we still have an idea what it used to be it's quite deep but 
then all of a sudden it went back up again. So we're trying to get this all to level out. There's where the sump pump kicks out water. This is going to be a concrete patio. Right now it looks like cluster, but it's all broken rock. I'm getting ready to put gravel through all this and then pour concrete from here all the way down to the slab that's already been poured. So I still have the flat roof, haven't done much with it. Uh, a lot of other projects needed to be done. Just trying to buy some time, but this slab came out pretty nice and just a little congested right now. But once that opens up, this is gonna be all one nice patio. Hoping to have a sliding door that comes off of the kitchen area when it's upstairs, when I build the second half, coming out here onto a swimming pool area right here and a privacy fence on those two sides since I already have a privacy technically on the back. Uh, as for the water situation, we got pounded with all kinds of water. Comes from his yard and this yard. I'm trying to get it to go down this. I'm gonna put some sort of rock wall and then make this a sidewalk, but I need to fix this side of the rock wall house. Uh, most of the house is actually cinder block except for all this. The garage is actually rock, 18 inches of rock and cement. It's not going anywhere, but it's still decaying little by little. And that's pretty much about it. And so, would love to have a big garage in the back back there next to the shed. So I need to move the shed down someday back there so I can have the bike and all that back there. Uh, I did get a new truck, Porsche. And then of course there's the state of the art alarm system and protector. It's the super Rottweiler. Sup, dog? Anyway, I uh, got lucky. Diana's dad actually gave me a grill, so I cleaned it up, even though I have one already here, but I'll put one in the backyard. Can't say no to a few free grill, can you talk? These are what they call uh, Fox blocks. It's gonna be a retaining wall with insulation. I'm gonna try to build a wall through here. Again, it's part of my uh, enclosed patio here and or living room so I just got to find out what code says and pull the permit and get that done I want to finish the driveway from there to there I can do without the permit from the flower pot out I have to have a permit so codes they got to get their money everybody's got to get their money but other than that uh, we're doing pretty good here as you can see nice little view but I've come a long ways with the house but wish I could have done it all in one big bang but it is what it is you all have a good one